Hi everyone, my name is Erin Bush. I am the Founder and Artistic Director of the Young Women Composers Camp. I am really excited to welcome you to a concert of world premieres uh, composed by our 2020 YWCC composers. This year has been a little different, as you might imagine. We did transition online because of the pandemic, and we also decided to expand our eligibility to include undergraduates as well as high school students, so we had a more diverse age range within our cohort this year. And since all activities were virtual, we also had an expanded geographic reach. So we actually have students from Canada, Asia, and Australia, in addition to from all across the U.S. So today you will hear works from about half of our 50-person cohort. I've been able to catch some snippets of pieces here and there and rehearsals and things like that. And I am just so impressed with what our students have come up with in such a short amount of time. Really, really innovative solo works. And I am so pleased to welcome them out into the world today. Uh, a few thank yous before we get started. Of course, firstly, just to our performers uh, for working with our students so wonderfully and just encouraging them to take risks, which is so important. To our instructors, Neela Farnorbakush, Flannery Cunningham, Melissa Dunphy, and Inti Figus Vizueta, could not have done this without you. You have really just encouraged our students to explore and to um, you've made sure that their needs were being met in a way that was really valuable to the integrity of the program. Um, I'd also like to thank Julia Alford, our administrative director, who works tirelessly all year. The work is often very tedious, so I, I am so glad to have her support on this uh, project. To our first ever intern, Shaylin Fabic, thank you so much for helping things run smoothly. Um, to everyone at Boyer, thank you for all the staff members at Temple University who, has, who have helped us to make sure that this program was successful and your work throughout the year is really integral to the program. And thank you to all of the students for just making this such a wonderful, meaningful experience, especially in what I hope is the strangest summer of our lives. Uh, and now, without further ado, I will turn the spotlight over to our composers. Thank you all so much for coming and enjoy the show. Hello, my name is Madeline Clara Chang, and I'm a rising high school junior from the San Francisco Bay Area in California. This piece, Words Are Last to Fall Asleep, is inspired by a late night conversation with a close friend of mine, and it's about the resonating impact of an individual's words on another person. This piece is set in between the plane of existence, um, between sleep and wakefulness, and as they slowly drift off into sleep after talking to someone dear to them, the last things on the person's mind are the spoken and unspoken words that are still floating from the conversation.
Hi, I'm Kim Fish, and I wanted my flute solo to sound and feel like water. Um, so that was the main inspiration behind it. And during the piece, I imagined myself on a boat in the middle of the ocean just to get the feeling out of it. And uh, I want you to imagine yourself doing the same thing, sitting on a boat in the middle of the ocean while you're listening to the piece and picture yourself going through the musical journey with, with the flute. Um, and I really enjoyed the challenge of working with a solo instrument, so I hope you enjoy. Reporting for the Gaithersburg, Maryland, USA New News Report. Times are tough. That's why my superiors have instated a new new news report program titled Inspiring Tales in Tough Times. Today we'll be covering the heartwarming story of Leah Armature and Charlotte Amet. Thirty years ago, local flute teacher Charlotte Amet was tasked with teaching a newborn robot to play the flute. This robot was dubbed Leah Armature, and as her name implies, she had a flair for the dramatics. Unfortunately, Armature cannot be here with us today as she died two years ago when Apple stopped making chargers. However, we will be using her corpse mechanics for our segment. Amet died of old age soon after. We will not be using her mechanics. The music for this segment was written by me. That's right, I was originally hired for composition. It will be performed by a solo flutist. No, I'm not saying flutist! With electronic elements to help create the illusion that she is Amet playing with armature. Enjoy.
you're not supposed to clap in between movements. I am going to be famous. Later, the robot returns to the teacher in an attempt to rekindle their friendship. Hi everyone, I'm Lily Coslow and I'm from Fort Lee, New Jersey. Today Isabel will be presenting my piece Bloodline for Flute and Fixed Media. The piece was inspired by the poem Bloodline by my friend Grace Tan, which explores themes of possession and bodily autonomy through the lens of Greek mythology. I hope you like it. work of your genes and buzzing like cola through your veins. You will look into her eyes and see Diana's blessing in each arrow quick flicker. of a daughter begins once she is delivered into your contracted arms, gasping wet sobs against your breast, throat open, legs heavy, skin buttered and waiting to be bruised. And after that first hemlocked touch, you will start to hear the baying of hounds at night. In the drawn shadows of passing twilights, you start to see how easy it would be to snap her wrist and drink from the cup of her hand. You trace your gaze down her spine and wonder how many fingers will graze down that same path, how many nights she will break Artemis' promise, how many times she will forget that she is your daughter. of having a daughter is that she will betray you. You will come home after 18 years of divine plague only to find the most uncurable sickness in your own house. You will understand too late that she was never yours to keep, that she is part of your house, but she'll let every other house enter through her. Who else knelt at her altar? Whose offerings did she receive? Look down and see that you are only embracing desecrated ground. Who's a daughter of you? The curse of being a daughter is that I was never mine to keep. Look into my eyes and see the moonlight draining from them as they flicker. 
time. Twilight passes over the drawn shadows on your walls, our bodies your sacrifice for your homecoming. Odysseus, come home and find it clean. The hounds are silent and dead. See yourself in the mirror and fail to realize again that after Charybdis and Scylla, the only monsters left on Earth were men. Hi, my name is Shirley He, and I wrote a piece for solo piano called I Am Smoke, I Am Paper, and this piece was meant to illustrate the feeling of grief and abandonment that one would get when their loved one suffers from addiction and or substance abuse. And you'll notice that the slow and sluggish tempo and the volatile dynamics were purposefully used to manifest this kind of emotion. I hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Lena Childers, and I'm an upcoming senior from New Hope, Pennsylvania. I wrote a piece for solo piano called All Aboard the Pipe Dream Express, which talks about the psychiatric condition known as maladaptive daydreaming, where intense daydreaming can distract a person from real life. The metaphor of a runaway train accentuates the addictive behavior, along with various note clusters, altering tempo and dynamic, and the use of a variety of locri and mode-based key changes throughout the piece. Embodying the frustration and mourning that comes with the condition, I hope you enjoy! Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Maddie Goldsboro, and I'm from Philadelphia, PA. I wrote Disconnected Connected for two toy pianos, and I'm so happy that Phyllis Chen will be playing my piece. I wrote it because of the weird way that toy piano sounds nostalgic and creepy at the same time. So I was trying to embody that and make something beautiful, but something that could also be interpreted as spooky. Enjoy my piece. Hi, I'm Lillian Kraft, and the piece that I wrote is called The Impermanence for Double Bass. This piece is inspired by all the time that I've spent sitting in my garden thinking deep thoughts. Um, it contains words of poetry that I also thought of while sitting in the garden, and it's just um, a conglomeration of all the different sounds that were inspired by the garden. You enjoy.
everyone, my name is Isabel Goldstein and I'm from Rochester, New York. The name of my piece is Dance of the Elephants, which you will hear momentarily. When I was writing this piece, I was both excited and nervous about writing for a solo instrument, as my past has always been for a piano, then arranged for a larger ensemble. It turned out to be a very new and interesting experience, but I must confess, I'm going to add piano part as soon as possible. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Anyway, here's Dance of the Elephants.
Hello, my name is Nanaya, and for tonight's concert, I'm going to have my song Space Loop be played on the double bass. I got the idea from Melissa, who suggested that I should maybe have a digital backing track to the acoustic bass because it goes along with my other compositions that are usually in the digital format, so I thought it was a good idea. I got it all done the last minute, but I ended up liking it, and I hope you'll all enjoy it. Bye! Hi, my name is Abby Harris, and I am so excited to present my new composition, Cicatrix. A cicatrix is a scar that is healed over. With soprano and electronics, my work musically tells part of the story of the poem First Blood, which I wrote last winter, about a young girl who hunts and then slays a dragon. The piece is narrated by this girl later on in life, recounting the tale. I am so grateful to soprano Jessica Beale for performing Cicatrix. I am beyond grateful to everyone at Young Women's Composers Camp for being the empowering incubator for it. And I am so beyond lucky to have worked with Flannery, who taught me so much. Lastly, I feel very lucky to be part of the community Young Women's Composers Camp has created for composers like us. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy.
Hello everyone, my name is Lilia Ishakova and I'm a composer from Kazan, Russia. So my piece your choice is for soprano solo, recorder and bubble rap. It has a humorous and therapeutic character. I also enjoy to experiment with new sound and new composers' contemporary techniques. So enjoy and thank you! Take it easy. Help yourself. Hi, my name is Sarah, and I'm the composer of Remembering Autumn. When I think of autumn, I always think of the leaves changing colors and then falling to the ground. The wind picks them up and makes them dance. So that's my inspiration, and I hope you enjoy my piece, Remembering Autumn.
My name is Sophia Schiffer, and I'm from Bellevue, Washington. Midnight Cathedral is my first electroacoustic piece. As I was writing it, I envisioned taking a walk in the middle of the night and stumbling upon an old and mystic cathedral, then once inside, encountering a chorus of angels. The piece ends at the next morning's sunrise. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy my piece. My name is Annalie Sapati, and I am a young composer from South Jersey. Though I've been composing for four years, Cicada Jazz is my first delve into jazz composition. Cicada Jazz features a solo trombonist, over two accompanying trombones, as well as a Latin percussion line. The beginning of Cicada Jazz sounds like the moment that you wake up in the morning, but it immediately turns into something much, much more. Thank you, and enjoy. Oh. Um. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm Cecile Shevsky, I'm 16 years old, I'm from Wallingford, Pennsylvania, and my piece is called Isolate. And I wrote it thinking about quarantine and self-isolation and how that can affect a performer, because I think solo performance is such a personal thing, because the performer is given a lot of power, and I really wanted to explore that power with this piece, so enjoy. Thanks. My name is Rose Murrow. 
The piece I wrote for this camp, entitled Dryads at Dawn, tells the story of a young dryad as she sings in the early morning and is greeted with the waking of the creatures inhabited there. Through this morning stroll, the dryad meets both friends and foes alike and adventures in shore. Thank you. I hope you enjoy. Hello, my name is Jamie Hammer. I'm from Keene, New Hampshire. This piece for solo oboe is about the four elements, earth, water, fire, and air, and the connections I've been taught to make with them throughout my life from things like Greek mythology or Avatar The Last Airbender, and kind of using classical music motifs that, I've, that I associate with them. And it's about interconnectedness and synesthesia. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed.
Hi everyone, I'm Selin and I'm from Turkey. In my piece, I wanted to describe a journey that has no destination. So this traveler in the journey keeps traveling and exploring, changing places. And I wanted to capture all the different phases of this aimless journey. So I ended up using modulations throughout the piece to create this sense of continuous drift from one place to another. And the piece is called Wanderer. Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth Matheson and I'm a composer from Strasbourg, Pennsylvania. I wrote a piece for solo viola called Burnout, which attempts to capture the feelings of anxiety and exhaustion that came as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic this year. You'll be hearing a lot of chromaticism and some extended viola techniques to create these surreal and panicked effects. Um, thank you, and I hope you enjoy!
Hello everyone, my name is Natalie Penn and I live in the Boston area. I wrote a piece for solo viola titled The Voyager's Tale, Theme and Variations. It's actually inspired by one of my favorite pieces, La Fulia, which is also in the same form. I started with a fun jig melody, then created several variations that tell an epic tale. I can't wait to share this with you. Thanks and enjoy. <laughs>
And with that, we have reached the end of today's concert. A huge congratulations to all of our student composers on today's program. It has just been a joy to get to know you, and I really know this is just the beginning of your journeys. I can't wait to see what you come up with next, and I know that we'll stay in touch. Thank you to this year's funders, the Carol Hasker Wagner Charitable Trust, the Nararo Foundation, PPA Project Stream, New Music USA, and our many individual donors. Thank you so much for supporting our work and these emerging composers. And finally, thank you to everyone in the audience for spending your time here with us, and we hope to see you next year. Take care.